In America, the fight over the teaching of creationism or intelligent design in the classroom is never really far away. We see it popping up across the South, even sometimes in states like Pennsylvania. I think it's happened in Wisconsin. Uh, but one of the good things for people who don't want intelligent design being taught in public schools is that the proponents of creationism uh, often aren't very creative in terms of how they present it. It's usually just, you know, you have to teach the debate or whatever they pretend there's a debate. Uh, but unfortunately, they're starting to get a bit more creative. I'm speaking particularly here about uh, Missouri, Representative uh, Rick Bratton, he's in the state government, and he has a very interesting strategy for how he wants to introduce intelligent design into the classroom, and that is by simply changing the definitions of every word that has to do with science, basically. So we've got some fun definitions for you. We're going to start with the definition of scientific theory according to Rick Bratton, who has multiple PhDs, I have to assume. But no, he actually doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, going to say, there's a no way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he defines scientific theory uh, like this. It's an inferred explanation of incompletely understood phenomena about the physical universe based on limited knowledge, whose components are data, logic, and faith-based philosophy. Wow. Since when? Exactly. Okay, let's go on. Hypothesis. And you'll understand why he's defining it in this way uh, once we get to the end of this. Uh, it's a scientific theory, again, he's conflating hypothesis with theory, uh, reflecting a minority of scientific opinion which may lack acceptance because it is a new idea, contains faulty logic, lacks supporting data, has significant amounts of conflicting data, or is philosophically unpopular. So there he's trying to define hypothesis in a way that it basically only could mean creationism. But I love that he's like preemptively admitting that it contains faulty logic, lacks supporting data, and has significant amounts of conflicting data. I mean, the very first few words of that definition just mm -hmm. show you how much of a clown he is. Mm -hmm. A hypothesis and a theory are two different things. Exactly. Yeah, and, and I, I love that he's taking himself seriously here. I mean, he's making a total fool out of himself. What is happening? He doesn't know it. And he does, that's yeah. the thing. I mean, it's pure ignorance. I mm -hmm. keep going. Yeah, so the third definition we've got for you, this is standard science, which he defines as knowledge disclosed in a truthful and objective manner and the physical universe without any preconceived philosophical demands concerning origin or destiny. Now, why does he talk about origin and destiny here? Here is why. He goes on, and this is actually in the bill. It says, biological ident uh, intelligent design is taught, if it's taught, any proposed identity of the intelligence responsible for Earth's biology shall be verifiable by present day observation or experimentation, and teachers shall not question, survey, or otherwise influence student belief in a non verifiable identity within a science course. Now, that may sound kind of reasonable. Like, we're not going to push, you know, the, the biblical God on you, but it's also making it so that they can't say it isn't the biblical God. What do you think about this? Would you want uh, your children growing up in Missouri schools if this were to pass? No, I wouldn't want my children growing up in Missouri schools, even so. if it didn't pass. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I want <laughs> <laughs> That is awful. <laughs> Sorry. Don't, don't, um, don't unsubscribe, please. No, don't unsubscribe. No, I love people of Missouri. I want to remain here in Los Angeles. And that's not to say that Missouri schools are bad. Are you kidding me? The LAUSD is a complete and utter nightmare. Oh, really? So I just don't want to have kids because I don't want to subject them to the subpar education that we have here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. But that's beside the point. Look, I, I appreciate him trying to be creative in uh, getting creationism in schools, but as uh, we have talked about on the second hour before, they don't even have to get creative. In states like Texas, our public schools are already teaching the Bible to students. Mm. And originally, these elective classes were meant to be, uh, you know, just a lesson about the Bible and not uh, religious indoctrination. But as we reported, no, it is religious indo indoctrination because they're teaching kids that everything that you're reading in the Bible is the truth, yeah. you know, and, and, and you should believe this. And, and there's there's no question that we were, uh, you know, created by intelligent design and this and that. So, so it's a real problem because you're seeing this assault on our public education, not just when it comes to curriculum, but also when it comes to funding. And we have to stop being asleep at the wheel. We need mm -hmm. to wake up because these kids are our future and we're basically training a, a nation of idiots in the yeah. future. Uh, we, can't, we can't let this continue to happen. And trying to train them to be even bit be better idiots in the future. Uh, I think, look, you have a choice in this country who you can allow to influence your young children when it comes to learning science and stuff like that. You can have Rick Bratton in Missouri, or maybe you could have Bill Nye, Neil deGrasse Tyson, men like this who know a little bit more about the definitions of these words than Rick Bratton. Uh, I think it's unfortunate. I don't know, like, the Scopes monkey trials were like a thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. When are we going to stop just debating this? 
it's. Un I wish that he had grown up watching Bill Nye. Maybe we wouldn't have this problem right now.